YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to another Warzone Breakdown. In today's gameplay, we're gonna be going over It's Iron's gameplay and breaking it down and talking about the things that he's doing and why he's doing it. That way you guys can hopefully learn something new, a whole different strategy, and get your ass out there to win more consistently and get more kills consistently in Warzone. A lot of players, when they're playing the game, they usually have the same exact repetition, always doing the same strategies, the same rotation. The purpose of this entire series and spectating randoms, the spectating players like Iron, is to put you guys in their shoes and kind of teach you something different. Get you guys out of your comfort zone so that you can go out there and improve in Warzone. But if you do enjoy the content, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today, and also don't forget to show Iron some love. I will link all of his social medias in the description below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. All right, here we are jumping out, going to the helicopter at Millie, and as you guys can see on the mini-map, all of our teammates are kind of going their own direction. I'm going to go ahead and assume they're all going after helicopters. Now, helicopters is a great tool to use whether you want to play passive or whether you want to play aggressive. You want to play super aggro you can literally land on people splat them get high ground and shoot down on them it's a very good tool to go after players and also positioning definitely your best tool to get the high ground and focus on rotations of positioning also also perfect to use in gatekeeping situations but here we are just trying to gather a little bit of loot get a little bit of cash but mainly just get a weapon that we can kind of use in case we do spot some enemies we don't have to shoot them with a pistol that's pretty self-explanatory. And again, as you look at the screen, you can see all of our teammates are spread out. It looked like two of us have a chopper. Maybe even three of us have a chopper. We have a vehicle coming up behind us right now. We got a little bit of loot, so we could contest them. Here we are parking up on the high ground. And as you can see, his vehicle went from red to white. So there he is. All right. So problem number one with the enemy. Let's see if we can get the headshot. All right, so mistake number one that the enemy made is he's looting after us. Granted, we didn't loot all the area, but he should have seen us fly away and he should assume that we looted this area and gone somewhere differently. Two, he should have seen us park the vehicle up here. If you look at the mini map, we can see his vehicle. So guess what? He should be able to see ours. He should have noticed that our helicopter went from red to white and it also landed up here. And if he wanted to push this building, not push from this direction, because again, as you guys can see here, he's going to get absolutely destroyed. Make sure you guys are paying attention to the mini map. The mini map is literally a cheat code many people don't use. That's pretty much a self self explanatory. But guys, look, look, I'm gonna pause the video again. Look at the mini map. The vehicle went from white to red and back to white, which lets me know that there's multiple teammates there. We don't know how many. This is quads, but there's at least two. So we need to go ahead and prepare for that. Again, utilize the mini map to find out this knowledge and let you guys know this information. But the enemy did hop out of the vehicle, so he's probably either going to gather this loot or he might contest us. Here, Iron is landing in front of it, kind of brave. Oh, there he is. All right, great footwork from Iron. Vaulting up the pallets on the left-hand side and jumping over the enemy, giving himself a position to shoot him in the back. This is a lot of problems players have is trying to transition from one area to another. This is where higher sensitivity comes into play. When you guys are trying to track players jumping over you or skating around you. The best way to do it is to up your sensitivity, but don't just go crazy and jump up to 20 sensitivity because so-and-so is doing it because you think that's the best. Again, you guys need to baby step up your sensitivity a little bit, practice with it, play with it, get used to it, and then keep on upgrading. But great shots from iron, great movement. Now we're out of here. I think that's the only one. Why did I not suspect two? You got caught up in the moment, brother. Happens to all of us. And the reason why I only think there was two down there is because while the last guy was fighting us, no one else was there to help. At least you like to think there wasn't other teammates down there. If there are more people down there, shame on them for not helping their boys out. But I'm pretty sure that's it for now. All right, here we are now rotating over to... Why did I not suspect two? That almost screwed me. It was, it was close. It was close. All right, we got player. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, look at this. Don't ever do this. I understand you didn't get the loot in there, but you don't have to get in there and literally lick the wall. That doesn't make any sense. Grab what's in there and get out. Because now what he's doing is he's putting himself in the corner. He's putting his back to the corner. And it's going to be very easy for us to destroy him. You see it all the time in places like Storage Town and other areas where there's cubbies. People just put their back against the wall and they just stare at a direction. And they're relying way too much on their aim and accuracy to outshoot the enemy. If we were on foot, we could get this kill easily, very easily. So please guys, stop putting yourself in an area like this with your back against the wall. Always focus on being able to 
move around. You never want to put yourself in a building with one way in and one way out. It doesn't make any sense. All right, almost hitting it. Looked like he should have hit the leg a little bit, but he didn't. Orange crate on top. Now, look, one thing I'm kind of worried about right now is the fact that we don't know where his teammates are at. A lot of you guys in this situation, you think to yourself, oh my God, easy kill. Savage even said so. Let me jump off this roof and go get that kill. The problem is there's three enemies somewhere. At least we think there is. We don't know. And sometimes you're better off safe than sorry. You can go down there and get that kill for sure. But you run a risk of getting shot from the big ass building right in front of us or the bank to our left hand side. It's very risky. So balance the risk versus reward for yourself. You also run the risk of losing the chopper for the entire game if you end up dying. So let's see what happens. But again, guys, always be analyzing your decisions while you're making them. Decision making is crucial when it comes to battle royales. See ya. <laughs> My man said, yep, see ya. Yeah, he analyzed that real quick. So I don't want anything to do with that kid. He's going to sit in there. We'll end up getting the kill for sure. But again, his teammates might shoot us in the back. Not worth leaving the high ground and leaving our vehicle. And also just look how he switches seats to scope in on areas and kind of analyze the situation. You can do that to reload. You can do that to switch your weapon. You can do that to play it up if Down you need to. Oh. Trying to scan for players right now, seeing where anyone's at. If there were players stadium, we would definitely land up here and shoot down on them. Unfortunately, nobody is, so we just pick up the ammo and go away. I will say, I love the fact that Activision allows us to pick up ammo and other items like that uh, while in vehicles. That was a really good addition. Just grabbing cash from the chopper. I love it. I love it. Them doing that definitely made this meta way more powerful than it ever has been before. All right, also look at the circle right now. The circle's in a position where we can gatekeep easily, right? If we want to land the chopper on the edge of the circle and start shooting some teams and gatekeep them, we have the ability to do so. Combining our money, getting our loadout. This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think we have to talk about this that much, but I want you guys to watch how many UAVs they use the entire game and also probably how many bounties they pick up throughout the entire game just focus on that people always tell me and i'm tired of hearing it savage nobody uses uavs because everyone's got ghost on if you're not using uavs there's one reason why you're not winning the game pretty often all right there's the bounties marking marking multiple of them and the most wanted so we can kind of split up and go that route if we want oh uh, where's reed uh, There's a bounty out here to our right hand side towards camp. the southeast vehicle as well could be the bounty probably is we're gonna land on the rooftop Maybe yep, and we're gonna put some fire on the enemy One armor break two armor breaks are look what just happened as we're breaking their armor from a distance Will we get the kill? No, but that's a beautiful thing with teamwork, right? We're here breaking the armor from range Sleepers in pursuit of them, kind of beating them right to Wag, who comes up from a whole different angle. Again, guys, collapse on the enemy, help each other out. Too many times we spectate random squads, they're too busy worrying about stealing each other's kills, then they are teamwork. I love the fact they just funneled this poor squad right into their death. Lost one chopper, not, not a big deal, and there, there it is, easy. Notice the speed in which we got the bounty hunted and killed him, and now we can pick up another bounty and keep doing it. There was more than one. So many times, players are DMing me like, hey, bro, I can't get more than three kills or four kills, and I'm not hating, but if you guys are trying to increase your kill count, if you're struggling in those low numbers, start going after bounties, guys. Start forcing the fight. Don't play scared. Get some confidence, believe in yourself, go out there and just fight. If you die, it is what it is. Wrong, dude. All right, but now we're off to the next bounty. Circle's coming in. And we can probably catch some people rotating on the edge of the zone. Especially since we have the chopper, we can get on a building and we can kind of get in a gatekeeping position. We do have a bounty over here by the buy station out in the open, right there by the signs at the intersection. Now, something I want to talk about real quick while we're here. Where do you land at? We're going to fight these guys. What do you do? Do you bail out of the chopper and launch it on them? Do you land at the hill behind them, get the high ground and shoot down on the enemy? Or do you land in the ravine, kind of play the bridge to protect your one side and use the ridge of the ravine as a heady to apply pressure on the enemy and maybe get some knocks and some kills? The third one, the high ground's great, but the problem is we don't know what's over there. 
we know downtown is decently safe because no one shot at us. Of course, it's not always a guarantee, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume this area that we're hovering over right now is probably safe. So I'd play the ravine. You play the hill, you might get shot in the back from people at farmland and or prison. Applying pressure on the enemy. Look, I'm just scattering like rats. These guys should be taking either A, they should be driving off or B, they should be taking uh, defensive positions. Unfortunately, one, two guys are sitting in the vehicle. Another one's by the rock on the right hand side. Notice how we're using this ridge as a heady. If we start getting some pressure on us, we can bail back to the ravine, play it up and keep playing it. Not to mention if they do some kind of crazy rotation or they get in a spot we don't have an angle on, we can play this entire ridge to the right hand side and, and change our position and get a different angle on the enemy. And even at the last oh, second, dude, the, the enemy just tried to get in the vehicle oh, and drive off. Didn't even want to try to outplay the situation. Granted, sometimes you need to run, but where is he going to run to? We do have a helicopter above oh, us right geez. now. Full team just hovering, watching the yeah, show. Not idea, yeah, not a good idea at all. Like and Bruce Wayne learned. goes down as well. Here's another vehicle. One more. One more. It's like Twisted Metal out here. Do not let this guy away. Do not let this guy away and wag the livers. Uh, 200, 200. Or sorry, 120, 120. Look at this. Weird, right? How did Iron know he's getting shot from? Again, hit indicators. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this, y'all know this already, but it, but there are a lot of players that are newer to the game or haven't discovered this yet. That's why I'm going to keep highlighting it. He lined up the hit indicator directly with the compass at the very top, and he knew exactly where they're at. That allowed him to not only get ready to contest the enemy, but also call it out to his teammates so his teammates can help him if he needs it. Gary landing. Look at this guy. Dead. Out in the open, no cover, no concealment, and even if he gets challenged, nowhere to dive to. Just standing out there in the middle of the open, waiting for his death. Guys, make sure you're always trying your best to play near some kind of cover. Sometimes you get caught out in the open, there's nothing you can do. You have to rotate in a bad spot. I get it. But, but him right there with all the trees, like ridges, hills, and shit around him, there was no reason for him to try to challenge Iron out in the open or challenge anybody out in the open for that matter. Oh, one second. All right, here we are going for another bounty. Now we do have players on the UF on the mini map outside of the safe zone, right? So what we could do is go on the rooftop and gatekeep these guys. Let's see if that's what they end up doing, but it'd be a perfect option. Oh, dude, camera bugs annoying as hell. And then you'll be able to see Iron utilize the chopper in a perfect gatekeeping scenario. Oh, these guys are in trouble. And that's exactly what's happening. He's probably going to land on prison. The guy is on the green roof, so we need to be careful. We need to make sure our shots are on point. There's actually multiple up there. Try to land it on him. Unfortunately, one bails off. One other one did not, though. Beautiful reaction time. Great beams by iron. Just absolutely obliterating that poor SOB. And then we have another guy to the right-hand side making a hard rotation the hell out of here. Right, there's one, and he should get the second kill here very, very shortly. Boom. There's some ghosted fellas on this buy station. They've got Cali sticks. I'm horrified. <laughs> Let's do it. I might need a pickup, dogs. Uh, you got him, Reed? Lost out on the I'm chopper. Doing. Think we're passing up the bounty. Not president. a big deal. We are in a oh, iffy spot. We probably should get to our squad oh. if we can. Oh, dude, they're beaming me. Look at the way Iron just utilizes the buildings to vault up, get the high ground again. Hold one. To also talking house, about restock anyway. restocks a great tool if you decide to play this type yeah, of strategy just... an enemy rotated yeah, the next building shot. over just going right in the door just, yep. see how we approach this fight Never mind. I should, might need help at some point. enemy busts out the door like it's fortnite and try to ego challenge us oh, and iron absolutely blitzing him down notice how iron is reading what the enemy is going to do he's predicting the movement and he's able to get the knock now how do you predict that Pretty simple. There's two doors. We screwed them up in one door, so oh, of course no. the enemy's gonna make a run oh, through the no. opposite door. You have, you guys have got to get used to reading the enemy's movements and deciding where they're gonna go. You're not always gonna be right, but at least you're trying, you're attempting, because most of the time um, you're probably gonna guess correctly. I'm gonna buy sleep, and then I need to hit Lodi. Lodi's safe. Uh, I, well, I didn't even hit it yet, but it was. Uh, there is a Gary right Gary above that. Right now, all right, now, as far as this poor guy that's on his loadout, there's really no strategy. We've all been here before. You got to get your loadout. It's in a bad spot. It is what it is. Unfortunately, again, 
Nothing to really analyze on that one. You just got caught up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Great spot with the glint. Again, guys, train your eyes to look for movement, look for glints or anything suspicious. A lot of players are always asking me to put out a video on how to train your eyes. Guys, there's no video that anyone can make to teach you how to train your eyes. A lot of players will sit this close to their monitor and just stare at the center. And that's why they have a hard time looking at the mini map, looking at their HUD and also spotting movement. You guys need to relax your eyes, allow your peripheral vision to actually help you out. Don't just sit there in tunnel vision and strain your eyes. Allow your eyes to work for you. Also, just fun fact, make sure you get a monitor 24 to 27 inches. Anything big, big TVs and stuff like this, you're gonna be breaking your neck left and right. That's also another reason why you're probably struggling your gameplay. Oh, Jeez, left. left, left, left. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Hop in. All right, we're deciding not to fight that. Um, I don't blame them. Fighting stadium, no matter which corner, stadium we're right. talking about, has Let's always been a pain in the ass. New stadium, old stadium, the next stadium, doesn't matter. They always suck. This area was bred for people to sit there and camp. And if you go in there, no matter how good you are, it's going to be a rough fight, especially if the guys camping or pro campers. All right, here we have an enemy. Let's go ahead and jump off on the rooftop. Right, there we go. That's what we do. Now we have the elevation to put fire on the enemy. Unfortunately, the enemy ran behind the building, so we can't. However, Sleeper is to our left, and so is Wag. So we can just provide some kind of protective cover. Why no, not me. <laughs> Why not? I'm the, I'm the worst pilot here. Nonsense. All right, guys, so if y'all are having trouble finding out where all the enemies are at, you need to start going after areas that you know where players are at. So many times I get emails and DMs and people in the comments like, I can never find players. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, you do. We all do. We all know where the players are at. It's just deciding, do you want to go to those spots and risk dying, right? We know that they're hangar. We know that they're boneyard. We know that they're storage town. We know they're airport. We know that they're at TV station. We know where to go. So what you guys need to do is start forcing yourself to get out there, go to those areas and start getting a little bit more aggressive. Again, the purpose of BRs is to win, but you guys need to develop the skill to shoot track and snap on the enemies before y'all get to that end game situation again otherwise you're gonna crumble in a 1v2 1v3 1v4 situation or even a 1v1 so as you traverse through the map is go to the hot areas like right now we have so right now we have blue pink mark that's usually an area people like to sit up at not to mention it's gonna be a good spot for us to park at if we want to go ahead and clear out this area and anyone surrounding it i'll get uh northeast now he's running claymores with restock so this is a great tactic right there with it right you just play, place the claymores down your teammate does on the other side and you just hold this position now i know what's about to happen it happened in the last iron video we did people are gonna start screaming savage you're better than this right he's a camper then that means no behind us. stop it y'all need to learn the difference between camping and just getting a good tactical and sound position Camping would be, you go into an attic, you have a sentry gun up there, and you're sitting there watching the staircase. That's camping. Sitting here playing around, playing on the edge, revealing your entire body for the entire world just so you can get some shots off the enemy. This is a good tactical position, right? Not to mention, we probably won't be here the entire game. Because right now, we're just waiting for the zone to close in. Look at this. The zone literally closes in 11 seconds. Why would we fly around the other side of the map if we don't have to? Just park yourself, wait for the circle to finish closing, and then we can go ahead and decide where we want to move out to. Killionaire. Kill there it is. So the circle favor is just beautiful on this one, Iron. Wow. The circle god said, Iron, here you go, my son. And just gave him a beautiful gatekeeping position. So now we have the option to gatekeep. Everyone coming from TV. Everyone coming from hangers. Everyone coming from Millie. We have a really good spot to get a lot of kills. We're already rocking 11 with 45 up. There's no reason. That I, can, that I can see that iron doesn't drop 20 or damn near close. And also, I always talk about trying not to play the edge and reveal yourself on the to the entire map. The good thing about this is we have an entire team. So if we have a team and we have self-res, y'all can play the edge because if we get knocked, what's going to happen? We're going to fall off and be protected by the ledge and our teammates can pick us up. Yo, All right, here we have Dukes off. of Hazard coming in hot between multiple teams. Sleeper's gonna jump off the roof and get on bank. Different angle, I like it. And also handle the guy that was in the vehicle. We got an enemy at the yellow house next to buy station on the mini map. Behind at the GO2 story. Right there, good good eye by iron. Again, just paying attention to the mini map. That's how players know where they're at. It's not walls, it's not hacks. It's just using the tools to your ability. 
And also, we gotta remember again, Millie. There will be people coming from Millie, 100%. One's right underneath of me. Two there, two there, two there. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. They go ahead, oh, get a knock. God. They try to waste their cluster to get the yeah, execution. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not a fan of mm -hmm. clusters in general, they're basically useless. You want to use them to yeah, clean up, yeah, fine. But you're probably better off yeah. with the precision. Precisions are usually a lot more accurate yeah, to clean yeah, up yeah. kills than clusters are. And a lot of times, clusters won't even hit the area you called it on. They'll just land all around it. I only have one play right now. Great job by Iron, literally saving sleep or just keeping the angle on the rooftop. Right Somebody's creeping up right now. Can't cover any more sleep. All right, Claymores go off. Here we go down. down, throwing the stun, bouncing off the wall. I got double clay. Good stuff. Or one clay now on this. I uh, lost one clay on this side. Again, I'm that's the beauty the behind side. the Claymore tactic with uh with restock is the fact that if someone comes yeah. up and blows them, we just lay some more Another down. On this side, I think, or was, what side was that? I think it was the other side. It sounded close, but I think it was the other side. Nobody's here. Sitting here talking iron like you can hear me. Never bro, mind. Bro, 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 bro. Sometimes I get too caught up. I think I'm on the team. All right, Juggernaut in play. Sick. That's, so, that's what we don't love. Now, one thing that's scary is we're all watching the same side. Oh, never mind. We're not. Orange on top. Oh my God. You, you, you don't want to watch the same side. You want to leave one or two teammates on the other side. That way, if another random enemy sneaks up that side, they can't gain control right of the roof or the high ground. Because if, it's, if a team does sneak up the opposite side, which they could right now, we can go back up, I think. It's going to make our life a little bit harder. Comms make no sense. He just said we were a different team. That's the thing. There are multiple teams here. Again, we had the guy that was on mini map and yellow's two story, right? And then we had the guy that we downed originally coming from Millie. So there's probably multiple teams here. And again, another reason why I'd be worried that another team might be pushing up the right hand side. Cluster. Another knock, another cluster. Like, guys, stop it. Y'all, y'all are looking ridiculous. Stop. Stop. Look at this cluster strike right now. Oh, look at that. That one was hit. Wow. Best I am. That almost hit. But still, that's not the play. Not the play. Precisions are a lot better. Still wouldn't recommend it. I usually like clusters and precisions to suppress the enemy. I'm in a bad spot, so I can rotate to a better spot. Glint coming out from the southeast, 120. Great shots. Where are his boyfriends? There, his left-hand side, running back to get the res off. Yeah, dude running, dude running. The enemy needs to focus on the res instead of... Uh, right here. Oh, never mind. Precision coming in. See, precisions I'm okay with. Crack. I know. There's one cracked on blue. A lot more no aggressive, a lot more precise. Again, precision, right? Weird. Ow. Cluster strike should just be renamed to uh, inaccurate pile of shit. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that comment. I love cluster strike, Savage. Look, if you love them, just keep doing you, boo. Great shots by Iron. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got to pop no, the reload. Really? Can the teammate finish it off? Finish it. Thank you. There he is. Now, look, we got to worry about our right hand side because we were fighting those guys, oh, the Dukes of Hazard like, team. Like, uh, the we were fighting those. We got to worry here. about those guys being over there and pushing up. That's exactly That's what happened. Thing. Also, minimap knowledge. Big Bertha coming up from the north. He needs to get out of here. He drove the wrong way, though. He's stuck in the trees. Vehicle's not disabled, but it doesn't matter. He's actually stuck right now. This guy's gonna die. It might not be now, but it's gonna be impossible for him to rotate through Millie through the open airfield and cross Down all the way over to rock. Salt Mine. Bad positioning by the enemy in that yep, area. The, uh, you want the only yourself? chance the enemy has is to yeah. hard rotate to the to the north. But again, even if he you makes it over free. that wall, him crossing the open is gonna be impossible. We'll be there it's waiting rock, for yeah. him, and so will I other enemies. I don't know what happened to him. Here we go, jumping off, getting a little aggressive, trying to go for this guy, end his life real fast. Oh. Gotta try to wrap up the hill here, straight. I'm gonna try to go along the wall. Anybody else craving Taco Bell right now? That's random, but there he is, getting the kill, and that was a team wipe. at the buy station up here. Purple. Now we're not in a better area either. Again, this open area is kind of dangerous right now. So when we rotate, hopefully no one's gonna be there gatekeeping us. There is the glint. Oh, Unfortunately, shot. iron goes down. Oh no. Good stuff by Wag suppressing maybe? the enemy again, guys. Okay. Look at this. We go down. We are dead to rights. There is no reason the enemy cannot kill us. Except for the fact that Wag is suppressing the enemy and putting as many bullets onto him as he possibly can so that we have the ability to sell for us and get safe. Again, guys, teamwork is a dream work. When a teammate goes down, you instantly have to collapse and try your best to cover him. Stop just being like, well, he's dead and just running off and saving yourself. Shriek this house, maybe? Are they on the house? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
one's on the rocks. One's on the rocks right now. We're still there. We're trying our best to zigzag. Get the hell out of here. Gas mask running out soon. Health coming back, and we end up making it. Down. Sleeper getting the crucial pick. Still, still the sniper's just right glinting side. right on iron. And see, that's another thing, too. Right now, the Down sniper the rocks, should be more worried about the guys pushing him than he is iron. He shouldn't be worried about him. He should be worried about sleeper, who's actually about to push his face in. I'm getting in the house, too. One's broken at the other house. Also, Juggernaut in play. I think we already said that, but don't forget. Don't forget, Jugs are the worst. Hey, what? I'm buying money. self res, combining money for plates. Wax sitting on a nice bag, too. Getting a UAV in the air, it's most up. likely. It's on this guy, plates, plates there, the UAV guy. is, and more enemies. And again, guys, sticking with the UAV strat. It's crucial. Thank you guys you. need to always oh do my. that. Right here, and I'm also, blue. guys, okay. don't just grab a UAV. And run around. You need to grab the UAV and hunt down the players at marks. Right that way, you guys can replenish your money, yeah, like replenish your loot, we and get another one. All the way around, but I would love got, to be able to kill up. these dudes too. Yeah, Enemy yeah, right from to the south hand like side, multiple. To, uh, gate deep. Or, sorry, shoot us in the back. We're going with a wide right flank, a hugging the south edge of the circle. Yeah. Let's see how he handles this. He is a solo right now. Broken. Thank you. Would never let you die. Wait, yeah, I'd still be worried about them for sure. Where, where, what they're doing. Yeah. Enemies using the precision to try to take out the the knock. Unfortunately for the them, pill. not able to deliver. And now we need to rotate out. Not sure where those guys went. Yeah, they've already rotated to ten. They're fine. And now here we are oh, trying yeah. to get ourselves to the high ground. Now look at this position here. Look at this. Where do you guys think you should go? And this is what separates elite players like Iron and his squad and other players like him, OP Mark, and the list goes on. This is what separates them from your average players. When we look at the circle, what do we see? Where do you want to go? Not in Salt Mine. That's the last place you want to go. So the team that Iron was originally trying to fight just now, they're going in Salt Mine. They're going into their grave because eventually they're going to have to leave there to rotate up the hill. So I love the fact that Iron and Squad are already focused on that. We're already going to get the high ground. We're already going to have a great rotation and a great spot to play the terrain, to pick people off as they try to rotate out of Salt Mine and come to us. Too many people don't pull up their big map. They don't analyze the circle. Every time that circle changes, when the circle finishes collapsing and the new circle is revealed, pull up your map and look at it and think. Don't just be worrying about what's going on around you. Sometimes you guys need to focus on positioning more than you do your kill count. Not to mention, not a bad circle for dealing with that juggernaut because he's going to have to work his way up too. To and the amount of distance he's got to cover, we'll be able to put a lot of shots into him. Or well, we can do it right now, whatever. <laughs> going to post up up here, sleep. Dude, it's so dead. Uh, Oh my, okay, this guy might be cheating southeast by the yeah, by. Yeah, I'll about to say it's very ballsy for the enemy literally to instantly lock onto us with no cover. He wasn't worried about positioning or nothing. And he missed that precision big time. Big time. I don't know if he's cheating or not, but what I'm saying is Inside. if when he went to go challenge iron, he should have held some kind of cover. He ego challenged the crap out of These us. But great beams blue. by him nonetheless, assuming he wasn't cheating. Uh, now I like sleeper in this position way better than ours. Hey, 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 man. That's what I was saying. We have to watch out for this guy in blue. Yeah. He's sketch. I'm coming for the top. Yeah. So Iron is in a bad spot. He's going to rotate to get to the position that he needs to get to. I, this Assuming this match lasts that long, it's gonna be interesting to see. Oh my god. I don't know if it's even worth it. It's very unfortunate. Is there any way we can force them to this other team? Let's watch this kill cam. I think the other team's top hill on us. Yeah, is there any way we can like force Oh, he's mounted, like, yeah. First? Looks clean. Good shots by him. And yes, now we're spectating Wag Wag's at. and the squad trying to finish it off. It's a 3v3v2. Or a 3v4v1, if my math's correct. I'm solid. And we've got decent position now. We know that one squad is in quarry. Or, I'm sorry, salt mine now. They're going to have to rotate up. We don't know where the last squad is. So I like the fact that WAG is trying to anticipate an enemy squad being up here. He's allowing his team to handle one set of enemies while we worry about another. Because the last thing you guys want to do is, as a squad 
is focus up on the same team and end up getting shot in the back. And notice the hill that wags next to. If there was an enemy duo or just one enemy up there and all three of their backs were turned to salt mine, it'd be a very easy triple kill for him if he's a decent shot. So I like the fact that Wag's breaking off in the zone and watching a whole different zone. Let me just watch our left right now, boys. That's it. Yeah, like that. uh, there, there was a dude like rapping like real close. Still concerning. We don't know where the last squad is. Blue. I don't know how good. And Wag Wag feels it too. That's in zone. Notice how he's not scanning with his scope. He's not ADS. He's just staying out of his scope, allowing his field of view to do the work for him. Just sides up and trying to figure out where the enemies are at. See if he sees any peaks, any glints, anything like that. Full health. I'm doing this. Yep, I like that. Three, 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 three. It's a very ratty ending. All right, it's a three v three now. Careful, Reed. You know that dude's on your right somewhere. And again, there might not be anybody over here. They might all be down there to the right. But again, better safe than sorry. Oh my God. Not like this. Can't hear it or see anything. Just absolutely beaming with the MP5. Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. He set, sleeper set the vehicle off the oh hill. It's a very bad area. Wag trying to bail out right now. Go into the bush, try to play it up. We need some help from sleeper. It's a very bad. We left our high ground. We left oh, our positioning. This isn't looking good, ladies and gentlemen. He's down here. He's down here. Up, up. Oh, get tried. He doesn't know. Sleep, he doesn't know where you are. You don't want to like keep like. Oh. <gasps> no way! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Holy crap, oh guys! God. Wow! Let's you're, you're go, with that. bro. I'm gonna be honest. As I was spectating, I was like, "Damn, this is a loss." I was really hoping to be a win, and my man coming out clutch. Let's go! What a self res! What a clutch up win, GG. Now, again, the most concerning thing was the fact that sleepers sent the vehicle down the hill to look for the enemies. Granted, it ended up working out, and we got the win. But in my eyes, I want to maintain that high ground. Even though those three enemies were holding hands and skipping straight for us, it would have been a hard fight, but at least we would have been on the high ground. Losing that high ground and going to low ground put us in a very bad position, and it almost cost us the game. A great teamwork from Sleeper and Wag, literally working the enemies together, getting a knock, getting a knock, trying to distract the enemy from the self-res, being able to self-res, and delivering a great solid clutch win. GG. But guys, again, I love Iron's gameplay. It reminds me from how I used to play back in my PUBG days, worrying more about win whoring than you are kills. Because at the end of the day, again, this game is about winning. But don't take what I said just now to heart, because again, you guys need to start practicing getting aggressive just to get your accuracy, your reaction time, your flick, and all of the above to par. That way, when you guys get to an in-game situation like this, y'all can pull off a clutch win just like they did. A lot of players sit here and they hide in bushes and they sit there in camp and lay prone, scared. They'll get to a very in-game situation with five enemies left. They'll have two kills, maybe one kill. And then when push comes to shove and they're in a bad spot, they have to outshoot the enemy and rely on their aim and accuracy. They usually get shit on. You guys are finding yourself playing super passive, crouch walking in the open, laying in bushes, any of the above. Make sure you guys stop it, get out of that habit, force it, go out there, pick fights, hunt people down, and then once you guys develop the reaction time and the skill that you need to outshoot the enemy, y'all can start playing like this, get out there, and win more consistently. Iron, thank you for allowing me to break down your gameplay once again here on the channel. I know the guys loved it the first time, and I love the fact that I was able to analyze this match and watch such a clutch win when I really didn't think it was gonna happen. But again, guys, I hope you learned something new or just enjoyed the content. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today, and also I will link all of his social medias again in the description below. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.